In a few days, Indian summer. False and lovely. Perhaps lovely because it is false. At the Itsukushima Shrine in Miyajima, there's no general view. One can never see it all because it was not designed to be viewed from outside. It's like, like Venice, of which it somehow reminds. It's not a view, it's an experience. One is meant to wander, turning at random, along those straight and open corridors. There are no walls. One looks through the shrine as though through a forest of lacquered trunks. It is at the end of the Inland Sea, and it is, of course, very old. The plan was first laid in the ninth century and was added to in the twelfth, and its purpose remains this gesture to the sea, this metaphor of faith. Japan is truly a sea country. Many of its most beautiful shrines face the ocean, and this, the most beautiful, opens directly upon it. More, it goes to meet it. It stretches out like a waiting hand, both inviting and accepting. It is like a mudra, one of the positions of the hand of the Buddha, himself but one of the gods. The seaborne pilgrim is welcomed and enfolded. Just by turning west and south, away from Tokyo, away from the snowbound province of Ohio, I could continue forever, following the summer south.